Yo, what is good, YouTube? May Dubs here, back with another video, guys. And we have some breaking news again out of Baltimore. Just 20, 30 minutes ago, they signed Melvin Gordon. And then we saw a rumor where they were visiting with Kyle Van Noy. And then two minutes later, they agreed to a contract with Kyle Van Noy, the former Detroit Lion, New England Patriot, Miami Dolphin, and LA Charger is on his way to the Baltimore Ravens. And he is going to add a ton of depth, experience, leadership to this locker room, to this linebacking core. And in this video, I'm going to break down everything that I believe he's going to add to Baltimore next season, as well as what I believe his role could possibly be for or with the Baltimore Ravens going into next season. However, before we jump into all of that, I need you guys to do me a little bit of a favor. Smash that like button. Let's see if we can get the video up to 100 likes. If you like this signing for the Ravens, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be covering the entirety of the, you know, offseason for the NFL, all of free agency, um, any trades that take place, um, preseason, training camp uh, in particular. I'm going to be covering all of the news, highlights, um, observations from training camp. So make sure you guys join the family overall. Turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we go live for a game, every time we post a video. Make sure you guys are in here. But without any further ado, let's jump into today's video. Now, Kyle Van Noy is, like I said, a linebacker who's played for about four different teams throughout his career. He's a former second round pick at a BYU um, in 2014 for the Detroit Lions. Played three years there, three years in um, New England. Then he went to Miami, back to New England, and then to the Chargers. Now, over his career, he's totaled up 470 tackles, 318 solo, not, or 10 forced fumbles, 9 fumble recoveries, 3 interceptions, 29 pass deflections, and 27 run stuffs. I mean, this guy has been very productive over his career so far in many different areas as well. New England, he was probably his best. Uh, Miami, he had a good season. He went back to New England again. Had a good season. And then for the Chargers last season, his most recent season, he had 47 tackles, 5 sacks, 1 forced fumble, 2 fumble recoveries, as well as 3.5 stuffs as well. So this is a guy who I believe will come in here to the Ravens who already have a, a couple of different linebackers who they like in terms of you know Patrick Queen, Roquan Smith, Tyus Bowser, you got... Um, um, Odafe Owa, you got David Adjobo, Malik Harrison, Trenton Simpson. I mean, they have so many guys already, but the one thing is a bunch of these guys are extremely young in terms of, you know, Patrick Queen is only, what, in his third, fourth year. You got, you know, Odafe, who is from 2021 class. You got Trenton Simpson, who is a third-round pick this year, Malik Harrison, 2020. Uh, you got David Adjobo, 2022, hasn't really played too much. Um, Tavarius Robinson, another guy who was a fourth round pick this season. So you have a bunch of guys who, yes, are young, but need some, a veteran guy in the locker room to help them or mold them into the player that, you know, we all know that they really can be. So right away, when I look at this signing, I say, okay, Vinoy is a guy who can come in and also like actually perform on the field. He can be a good guy to, you know, get on the field, get some reps. He's not going to be a full-time starter, most likely, unless it's an injury, but he also adds veteran leadership. He adds, you know, um, a locker room leader in terms of helping guys get better, add competitiveness to the practices and training camp and the dog days. He's going to make everyone better because when it comes to their starting lineup, they have a bunch of guys, but Calvin Oye can compete for a starting job. I don't know if he'll, you know, ultimately get it, but I think he's going to make everyone compete harder because they know he could be right on their tail. He could actually win the starting job. So we'll see what happens. But personally, I like this move for the Ravens. I think they get a little bit better in terms of their linebacking room. Um, a very versatile guy who can drop back into coverage a little bit, but primarily is, you know, can get to the quarterback and also stop the run. So I love this pickup for the Ravens, a do-it-all type of player. And let me know what you guys think. Do you like this signing? Do you not like this signing? Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Pro Class, the absolute best place for you to take your game to the highest level. It's the first of its kind sports training and development platform where you can reach your highest potential by learning from some of the best athletes on the entire planet. Some of these guys include Damian Lillard, De'Aaron Fox, Allen Iverson, DeMar DeRozan, and so many others. More. And I have some great news for you guys. If you guys go use my code, MADDYDUBS, you'll get 50% off hundreds 
of training videos, workouts, and drills, and you can get in the lab right now. So go check it out. Go steal some of the secrets from some of the top players in the world right now. And if you are interested in developing your skills at any level, if you play in middle school, high school, college, or if your goal is just to be a better athlete, a better basketball player, this is where you need to go. Nobody else does this. Go check them out and you can learn, develop your skills at a fast you know, pace, high speed level. Click the link in the description for instant access to all of the secrets in the world. And remember, using code MADDIEDUBS will get you 50% off right now. So don't miss out on this offer.